Hey everybody, it's Jennifer here with The Sewing Report. I'm kicking it in the craft room today and I thought it was about time to do another honest craft room tour. Of course, when it's totally chaotic, that is the best time. And yes, I am shooting this on an iPod. It's just like an iPhone, just without the data plan. All right, we're gonna start out right where I was just sitting. I was shooting something for a very special holiday themed video, My Little Red Dress Project video. So I kind of set this little vignette up with a uh, serger machine. And then this is new. I actually got this as a loaner from Everstone. It's a company that's owned by Bernina, which is like the Rolls Royce of sewing machines. And they're letting me borrow this one to try it out and make some videos with it. So far, I really like it. I think it's an awesome machine. Great, great stitch quality. And I really think it's a great value. This one is about $330. But I think the best part about it is that it's easily accessible online. You can buy these on Amazon and get Amazon Prime. So that's pretty amazing. All right, we're going over here. In the last Honest Craft Room tour, there was not a bed here. But my parents came to visit last week. So we decided to put the bed in here because this room is actually like painted and has real blinds. In most of the rooms in our house, we have those like temporary paper blinds just because we don't like to open the, uh, the blinds up. So obviously there's, this is new. And uh, this is my filming setup today. I shoot on a Canon 70D normally. And I was just using this like Gorilla, Gorilla Pod and I used the Rode microphone and I was uh, setting this on the Eversone box. So, ladies and gents, this uh, sewing machine has more than one use. You can even use the box. And of course, because it's me, it kind of looks like a pattern company exploded over here. I was kind of trying to find my Sew House 7 patterns, so I pulled out everything and of course they were in like a completely different spot. So there's that. And the closet, I think these were here in the last craft room tour, but obviously those uh, Ikea shelves and wire baskets are definitely full up now. And uh, this little light over here is actually a uh, ring light, and it's by a company called Newer, Newer, N-E-E-W-E-R. I have a list of everything I use up on sewingreport.com. It's in the resources section, so if you're, curi if you're curious about what kind of gear I use, you can find it all there. And of course, I will uh, pan over the uh, Hunter Star quilt. And this is new since the last time. I got a dress form, and I also made a video. That was my last video. The Janome 7700 is on the floor right now. And the sale right, embarrassingly enough, I still haven't really used it. I spent a few frustrating hours with it a couple months ago, and I kind of gave up. I know that's lame. But let's get back to this messy bed. I've got patterns, bunch of patterns. My uh, Sarah Lawson So Sweetness Big City Thread Collection by RFL, which is amazing. It's a great deal. I think I got it on a Black Friday sale a couple years ago, and most of the spools are really full. All right, and these are, this is fabric, sort of a mini fabric haul. I got these from Craftsy, awesome deal. I got a couple different kinds of chambray here. And then this, like, is black knit fabric. This actually came as a kit with this little wrap top thing here. Maybe I'll have time for it someday. Today is definitely not the day. But I'm also very excited about this fabric. It is a flannel and it's got like a little cool herringbone pattern. So I'm really excited to work with that. I just have to pre-wash and everything. And in here I've got not one but two tripods. I think this is a light diffuser over here. And then I've got this, it's like pleather or faux leather that I got from fabric.com. Ordered a lot of new fabric, haven't used any of it, so that's also embarrassing. Um, pretty jazzed about this mint green faux leather in here from Mood Fabrics. And then I'll take you up here. I got some organizational products from Aldi. Oh yeah, that was an odd light that I got in clearance from a Hancock Fabrics that was closing. I think I have some quilts up there. 
And then some random stuff over here. I don't even know what's in that box. But I do have some Ikea down feather inserts. By the way, if you need feather inserts, go to Ikea. They're only like $5.99 or like $9.99. They're super cheap. So they're a great deal. I did say we're keeping this honest, and this is about as honest as it gets. This room was kind of clean up until yesterday when I started making stuff. I got this Taylor, or sorry, this is a Dritz wood clapper board, which is very cool. And I've got some rhinestones here in a jar. I got these little gold desk accessories from Target. And I got these uh, Cuddy, oh yeah, this is super random. I know. Let's keep everything on the floor, right? I do want to give a quick shout out for these Clorox Triple Action Dust Wipes. I ordered these off of Amazon just to like pad my order. And oh my gosh, I didn't realize how amazing these things really are. They saved me so much time trying to clean the baseboards because of course, when my parents were coming, I, you know, we hadn't cleaned the house and, you know, who knows how long. So we, I spent three days straight cleaning. And I did not realize how amazing these things are. They are legit. This is about $5 for a box of 54. I think it's worth it. This must have saved me like oodles and oodles of time. So these things are great. They really trap dust. And like, you know how when you're dusting with like a paper towel, everything just kind of goes all over the place. This stuff really honestly picks it up. I think it's amazing. And these things have changed my life, which is kind of sad. All right, on the floor here, I like to buy these cheapo cutting mats to make templates for patterns. It's a little trick here. I know, yes, I'm, I'm full of fun facts, right? Oh yeah, we got the uh, DVD case. I think the DVD is actually in my uh, Blu-ray player for the sale, right? And of course, why not have season three of Castle in your craft room? That makes a lot of sense, Jen. I know. But I love me some Castle, even though it's now canceled. Nathan and Stana, we had some good times together. And I feel like the show is very underrated. Like, whenever I would be talking to someone, like, at work about it or whatever, they're like, oh yeah, I watched that show too. But nobody really, it didn't really get, like, a ton of buzz. And it's not one of those shows or that has, like, a, you know, a cult following a cult following or anything but it seems like everyone I've ever encountered does indeed watch Castle and it's a good show for couples it's not super feminine and it's not super masculine so it's something that you and your honey can watch together and not be annoyed by like my husband does when I try to watch the Gilmore Girls over here this is a pattern I'm excited about it's the So House 7 toaster sw toaster sweater pattern and I just I don't like to cut out I've learned I don't like to cut out the tissue I actually like to trace it onto tracing paper just to save the pattern in case you know someday I want to make it in another size maybe I gain like 300 pounds and you know I can no longer fit into a size small you know it might be an option someday but I'm pretty excited about this one because I think it's going to be an awesome pattern so let's go up to the main attraction, the uh, craft table. A lot going on here. And before my parents came, I stuffed a bunch of stuff into the suitcase. I don't even know what's in there, but I think it's a lot of tool. And I bought this leather a long time ago at Tandy Leather. And I'm kind of afraid to cut into it. I shouldn't be. I should just go ahead and use it, and I might. But I got this gold lambskin. I think this was about $50, and I think this was about $20. It's like a, just a piece of like brown faux like croc type leather. Then I've got a bunch of scraps over here, a bunch of scissors, and a lot of other stuff. I tried making a Noodle Head's petal pouch yesterday, and it actually turned out okay. So I will show you that. I got a bunch of scraps over there, stuff for the Everson machine. So yeah, I think this uh, pattern turned out quite nice. Very cool. And of course I got my TV and DVD player and cable box. It's been playing a lot of Gilmore Girls. And I have to say I was uh, very surprised by the ending. I'm not going to say I was thrilled, but I was surprised. I really need to empty the trash apparently. And I found this scrap of like blue knit that I got Joanne Fabrics a while ago. And I need to do something with it, but I don't know what. 
And of course, I've got my ironing board and boards up here. This is the rest of that pattern piece. And these are the pattern envelopes. So these are just beautifully, beautifully packaged patterns. I have to give So How 7 props for that. So I'm trying to make version number one of this sweater because I like the little like faux turtleneck thing going on there. And then this dress I'm excited about. I hope this goes well and I hope this is easy because if it is, I'm gonna make like a bazillion of them, hopefully. And I've got some fusible interfacing over here and some zippers I got out. So uh, yeah, that's about it for the Honest Craft Room. But, you know, I wanted to, I kind of started doing this just because I felt like a lot of the craft rooms I was seeing on Pinterest made me feel bad about my own. So I thought, you know, why not post a real craft room that someone actually works in and, you know, doesn't have like all the time in the world to clean and make things pretty like this right here. So here you go.